we I had done with uh, my login screen so our old uh, screens has been completed almost now I had to maintain my user session uh, so just uh, need to create a I'm going to create a splash screen here as well that at first time uh, this should be visible so index total yes I need to pass uh, RNF uh, and give it name of uh, splash now uh, for inside the view uh, I just uh, need to pass a logo at uh, this splash screen I just want to show logo for my application and uh, give it uh, some style and that it should be global style uh, dot uh, container center and also I'm giving it uh, some background color and uh, this should be from our color file color dot uh, black so that's all and uh, what I need to do I need to import uh, this screen here as well so let's write uh, splash but from here save this one and uh, move use this screen in navigation folder as well so just uh, copy this one and uh, right here splash and right here splash as well and uh, in place of login I'm going to show splash screen at the very first time and uh, what I'm do one more thing like uh, use effect it will uh, simply hold uh, this session for the user whether the user already logged or not so I just need to pass here uh, dependency of uh, navigation uh, just uh, use this uh, dependency as the props uh, take uh, from the props here as well so here I'm going to write const uh, redirect and uh, this will contain uh, set timeout and this is, this is an arrow function and here I'm going to use get uh, my async storage and uh, I have to get pass here params of keys dot uid it will simply look up whether uh, user has unique id or not uh, like uh, in previous video you had seen like when you, we had to sign up or uh, login if it success then it set the async storage so it simply check whether user exists or not so dot then uid uh, okay uh, i think uh, this dot then do this else uh, if uh, any error occur then uh, simply catch the error and uh, what I'm going to do some console log the error console dot log error and if uh, there any error occur then I just uh, simply replace my navigation to the login screen so navigation dot uh, navigate uh, uh, I think this should be replaced and uh, I need to change my index so simply navigate to login screen and uh, here I need to pass uh, the time I think uh, 3 seconds uh, should be enough and uh, if uh, it find uh, the user ID then uh, I'll write condition here if UID then do this else uh, if uh, it has hasn't any value then simply navigation dot replace uh, to the login screen and else uh, it gonna replace to the dashboard screen also as uh, I'm storing my unique value as in variable as uh, I'm not calling uh, my async stories again 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 so if the session has been authenticated like if you are restarting your application then you need to set your unique value again 
and inside the unique value you have to just pass UUI just reload your application there you can see we have uh, our splash screen and uh, we had as we had already our unique ID as we had logged in uh, a previous video so uh, it automatically send uh, set the unique st uh, stories so it is able to redirect to the dashboard screen also uh, what I'm going to do like uh, uh, when it like uh, use effect only call uh, like uh, this is like your component did mount and what I need to do uh, when you switch to the next screen I just unmount the set timeout function so just uh, pass return here and I'm using an arrow function and here I'm going to use uh, clear timeout and give the reference of your function so it's simply use redirect just save this one yeah now this is fine so uh, we had implemented all of our splash screen uh, sign up and login uh, in next video we'll uh, work to, with uh, some customization of uh, our login screen and sign up screen so that uh, we can make it more user friendly.